had the chokehold on Mr. Boehner? I mean, if you look at the Nationals as the perfect <laughs> metaphor, <laughs> Phil, who had the chokehold on Mr. Boehner? I'm serious. Jonathan Papelbon, Tom, took the form of about 40 far-right Republican lawmakers. They pretty much associate themselves. They're called the Freedom Caucus. In total, there's about 60, but there's about 35 to 40. That pretty much everything John Boehner tried to do that would even kind of hint at a compromise with the White House or with the Senate, right. even Senate Republicans, these 35 or 40 would automatically vote against it, more or less short-circuit any effort John Boehner had to try and get his way right. as Speaker. The money question this morning is framed for us the chokehold they have on the Republican leadership of the Senate. I think, Tom, the big question over the weekend, and look, Kevin McCarthy, who's the majority leader, is has been working all weekend to ramp up support. He's called I've been told every single lawmaker in the House conference, it's over 245 lawmakers, pledging to take a tougher stance with the White House, pledging to take a tougher stance with the Senate. It's his race to lose for Speaker. But, Tom, we talked about this a little bit on Friday, and it continues as I've been trading emails with, with Capitol Hill aides and even lawmakers this weekend. The dynamics don't change no matter who moves into Boehner's role. If these 35 or 40 lawmakers think for whatever reason that they can force the president to accept something that they want to do or they can force Senate Democrats to accept something that they want to do, they're wrong. And so Kevin McCarthy can pledge whatever he wants, but if he's the next speaker, Tom, that dynamic hasn't changed and won't until at least January 2017. Well, Phil Boehner was very, very strong yesterday and emotional in saying these people know they're wasting our time, that they won't get it done. Does Kevin McCarthy know that he's wasting time doing that? I think what's different between John Boehner and Kevin McCarthy is Kevin McCarthy back in 2009 and 2010 recruited a lot of these guys to help the Republicans take the majority in January of in November 2010, starting in January 2011. So he knows these members of Congress. He knows where they're from. He knows their families. He knows their backstory. He has great relationships with them. That's something John Boehner didn't have with these members of Congress. So I think there's some hope amongst Boehner's team or amongst McCarthy's team, amongst his outside circle, that because of those relationships. Right. He can help move them along. Just to make a point, though, guys, he was House Whip, the third rank member. He was House Majority Leader, the second rank member. And that, those relationships didn't help him in those cases. So I'm not sure how it's going to change if he's elevated to okay. that top spot. Phil Mattingly, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it as we get started in the Washington Derby.